Morgan Yates and I am here today with Natalie. Hi. We knew each other from North Carolina but she's been in town for a little bit this summer and we've been neighbors so today we thought it would be a good idea to do a little collab. So on my channel as you guys can see we are doing my LA summer night routine and then on mine we're doing the LA morning routine and it's just like a very chill video. So yeah, like this is gonna be, style. yeah this is gonna be vlog style. It's a very like real night routine. It's pretty much just gonna be like a vlog if it's from my vlog channel but I'm taking you through all the steps of my night routine and Natalie is over so she's gonna be part of some of it and then I was also in her video so after you guys watch this make sure you go check out her channel below I'm gonna have it linked and subscribe over there and tell her that I sent you and yeah that's it Okay. Right. Okay. I kind of like start my night routine, I guess, like no specific time, but like when I'm cooking dinner, kind of like I've done all my like work things for the day, you know, and like yeah, we were just like working together. We should just in a whole like day. Day. actually then mm -hmm. it'd be the same vlog. So never yeah. mind. <laughs> this we we're... split it up. Yeah. <laughs> We've just been over in the kitchen that way. I'll give you a view. Janine's over there currently. We've been like editing and emailing and working and stuff. So now I'm hungry. So I think we are going to cook a little dinner. I need a home cooked meal. I've been eating out like every single night. <laughs> So and I've been using I've been using Natalie in town as an excuse for like, oh I can go. Out. It's like worth spending money. Like it's just Natalie's only here for a few. We more got days. Starbucks twice in one day. Like, <laughs> did we really? Yeah, yesterday. Twice I got it for you. Remember? Oh, and then we got it. Yeah. Again. Oh no! <laughs> I really did not put that together. Oh well. So yeah, we're gonna cook. It's gonna be a great time. Hang out. Um, I don't really know. I'll, well, you have to watch. You'll see what happens. But yeah. So. Check out Natalie. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, so here's what's on the menu. I spiralized a zucchini. I'll show you this like rice mix I used in here. Put it all in a pan, cooked it, topped it with a little bit of green onion. Talked about this rice in, um, of course, you can't even see what it's called, in uh, what I eat on busy days video on this channel before. So you've kind of already seen this meal if you watch that video, but it's this Japanese style fried rice. From Trader Joe's, it's very flavorful, and so I just mix a little bit of that in there with my veggies, and we're gonna eat. Okay, so it's been a good while, and this is pretty much what happens every night: is me and Janine and Adrian, and Natalie's here today. Adrian's <laughs> out of town. We always end up in the living room, either editing or just like on our phones or watching a movie or talking or like whatever. We all just kind of like congregate down here later than yeah, quite the background track of whatever is uh, playing a trailer on Netflix. So. I think we're gonna find something to watch. Comment below your favorite Netflix movie or documentary, or especially if you guys have any scary movies on Netflix, because I really love scary movies. Even if I'm by myself, I can watch them. And really? I, yeah, I don't get scared. By yourself? Yeah. I've oh always done that. I've always been able to watch like horror movies and been fine, even if I'm alone. But I know it's weird, it's very odd. Not like demony stuff, don't com don't comment that. That's too, I don't like that. But like realistic stuff, I like. Um, but, so we're gonna find something to watch and then I will take you guys from there. All right. So, how's she doing? So, we just started watching the show. What was it called? Sinner. Sinner on Netflix. It is weird. I don't know if I... I have, like, the same thoughts about this as I do about Handmaid's Tale, where it's like, I don't know if I like it, but I can't stop watching it. So, I I mean, I kind of like it. I like that one. It's more of a plot. Like, here's more, like, episode by episode. Mm-hmm. But we watched three episodes. Janine fell asleep towards the end. Um, I'm gonna go upstairs and do my skincare routine and show you guys what I do every night before bed. Okay, right, so Natalie left, so now I am upstairs in my bathroom. I didn't really say this, I'm not necessarily like a night or a morning shower. It's kind of just like whenever it works out, I guess. Like I kind of try to shower in the morning or midday, that way my hair can air dry. So that's what went on today. It's still kind of damp, but we are working with that. So then after we have our little living room hangout, which doesn't always happen, but most nights I feel like, again, we always end up down there. Either watching a movie or just doing work or whatever I always come upstairs and that kind of begins my like individual unwinding relaxation period I guess so during this time I try to never be doing work whether it's editing or like whatever in a perfect world I would have prioritized everything even earlier like, I try to like have that time to like watch Netflix and unwind and just like be with my friends instead of editing so I try to get everything done during the day so then as soon as I come upstairs to unwind in my room for the night the first thing I always do is take off my makeup which I never really put on at all today so Nothing to take off, but that's what I would do first. My favorite is just the Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. They have a lot of different kinds. I own all of them. I'm not picky. They all work the same in my opinion. So once makeup is off, 
I'm gonna show you guys my nighttime skincare routine. I don't necessarily wash my face at night. I only wash it in the morning just because I feel like that's all that mine really needs. But the first thing I do that I got from an event, this is the Fresh Black Tea Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence that you're supposed to put on at the end of the day. It's like a, it says anti-pollution and age delay. The guy at the Fresh event just described it as like, lifting away all of the dirt that's still on your skin. So if I had little cotton pad things, I would maybe use this on that, but I did that once and I feel like it ends up absorbing more product than I'm like using. So literally I like wash my hands and then I just like pour this onto my hand and like distribute it. So that's what I'm doing currently. And give it a little, I think that there was a time in my life when I didn't even take off my makeup ever, much less wash my face. It was like a big step the days when I started to wash my face because that's how bad I used to be at skincare. But somehow back then my skin was perfect for years. Crazy concept. But I used to think a skincare routine sounded so tedious and now I love it. So it's like what I look forward to at the end of the night. I'm actually 80 years old who likes coming upstairs doing my skincare routine and going and reading in my bed, which you're gonna see in a second. That's me. Next up, I use the Burt. She just turned on thinking I was talking to I appreciate that you asked. It's always good to be concerned about the impact your words have on others. Next, I use the Burt's Bees Eye Cream with Royal Jelly. Put under my eyes, I feel like this is moisturizing. I actually have noticed a difference with like, sometimes like under my eye especially, like it's kind of like wrinkly with my concealer, you know what I mean? So there is some wrinkle action happening a little bit. So this, I always like get it all the way up to like my lash line. Make sure we're getting that in everywhere. I also always do my skincare routine the second I come upstairs and like know I'm done for the day. That way I can like unwind. Cause once you like get comfy in bed and like read or whatever you're doing and then you have to get up to do your skincare routine, in my experience, that never happens. So life hack, just do it from the beginning. Do it before you even look at your bed. Also, oh, I didn't say this, but um, I'll wait to tell you. Next, I'm using the Glossier Super Bounce Serum that has vitamin B5. I don't know if serums are supposed to be daytime or nighttime, so if anyone knows and you want to let me know, let me know, because I don't know. No, my chin just got unevenly distributed. Should I be cleaning my nose piercing? Yeah. Do I? No. So I just massage all of this in. This whole tucked behind the ears look is really cute. Next, I'm obsessed with the Glossier Lip Balms. This one is their rose one. The Balm.com is the name of the product. I have three different variations of these. They're amazing. I carry them in my purse. I have them in my room. I have them in my bathroom. I have them everywhere. It's just so much better than chapstick. And I feel like chapstick was just a big, like, addiction scandal. They put something in that that you just keep coming back. But this, it's, like, very moisturizing. I feel like it's actually, like, benefiting my lip moisture. So, yeah, I find myself not having to apply chapstick or this, whatever because I just pretty much only use this out as much because um, it's actually helping. And then lastly, I'm using this rose water facial spray. Can just give this a little generous application? I try not to breathe in for a minute. I use this one at night and then in the morning I use this one, um, this green one that has aloe and green tea just because I feel like this one literally is just so subjective. This one sounded more relaxing and this one sounded more like it was like, wake up your skin, even though th those are all just things that I attributed to them and not real. And then if I have any like zits or anything that I really need to take care of, I just use this clean and clear gel that has acne medication in it. And I just get a little amount of this and apply it to the affected region. But I'm proud to say my skin has been pretty good lately. So we're not doing much of that. So, it's pretty much my nighttime skincare routine. I'm gonna brush my teeth, because again, not trying to have to get up once I go position myself in bed. Also, sometimes I will do a face mask in my room and read, which you guys are gonna see in a second, I'm gonna show you. But today, earlier, I already did this Glam Glow face mask, because I had showered and my skin was feeling kind of dry. So I used this Glam Glow hydrating mask that you don't have to wash off. It's not like a clay one that you have to wash off or anything. I'll show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like, and you just use a brush to apply it to your skin, and you don't wash this one off it just dissolves and so that one hydrated my skin a lot so i try not to overdo it with face masks i only do them probably like every two or three days because i don't really know how the ingredients and different ones are interacting with products i'm using especially like i have i love this company called face story that's like a subscription service for face masks but it's like a korean skincare line and so i have no comprehension of what's in this if you can see this right now like i don't i just I don't know. I don't know what's in it at all. So I try to take these on face masks, use them every couple days, but I keep a few on hand in my bathroom drawer um, to go through. So 
haven't tried any of these before. This is a classic of mine. All right, now we are relocating. We are done in here. I'm gonna head to, oh, I didn't brush my teeth. I got distracted. We're gonna brush my teeth and then I'm going to take you guys to my bedroom. I forgot to say this, but I also make sure to brush out my eyelash extensions just to make sure I'm going to bed and these aren't being super like tangled up or anything to try to make them last as long as possible. Also, very notable, if you guys are subscribed to my vlog channel, you probably see me wearing this shirt all the time, especially in the mornings or like when I'm just staying at home. And that's because, I kid you not, I sleep in this shirt most nights. Like, probably every night, but then there are nights where I don't because like you have to wash this sometimes, you know? But literally, biggest t-shirt from Urban. I'm gonna have this linked below. Just the material is so like lightweight and soft and like cool, you know what I mean? Like how some shirt, like, I don't know, it's just like a cool t-shirt. Now I'm officially ready for bed. I always take these off. I cannot sleep in pants or socks. Don't know how anyone does that. If you guys have been watching for a while, also, you know that my room has been trashed for a really long time. It's quite clean. I've been doing a great job of keeping it together. This little section right here is just kind of chaotic, which some of this is just gonna have to stay where it is. But how I've been keeping my room clean, common sense thing clean it up every day. So that has become an integral part of my night routine. Before I get in bed whatsoever, I clean up my room. Again, we do not lay down until we've done everything else. I'm going to clean up this area a little bit. Also, can we just talk about how I'm obsessed with these lights that go around my room? I could never have a bedroom that does not have Christmas lights all the way around on a dimmer because look, this little thing that, that I can turn them down or up. Like I can keep them at any any variety of darker light. So, so we're gonna clean up this little section, then I'm gonna turn the lights down. So we cleaned up the affected region. And now it's basically almost time for bed. So if I'm really exhausted, I'll just go ahead and go to bed right now. But um, something I try to make a habit of doing every day is doing a little writing and reading. So I'll show you guys what that means. I also have other little lights that I like to turn on. I also turn this little moonlight that Clean and Clear sent me that's over here on my dresser. Also, I need to work on decluttering this because I have too much jewelry and it just looks like there's just way too much stuff out. So some of that needs to be stored inwardly. Now I have my lights. Perfect. So next, I will go ahead and move off some of my pillows to their sleeping place for the for the night because I obviously don't sleep with seven pillows on my bed. So that place is the floor. So those go there. I only sleep with the two pillows at the very back, but I leave these for now because they're nice and fluffy to just chill with while I write in these. So first thing I do, and I think I've talked about these in videos before, but every morning I write in this five minute journal. So basically, you kick off every morning listing three things you're grateful for, three things that would make today great. Um, and then just daily affirmations and then at night you come back and you write down three amazing things that happened today And then just do a reflection of how could today have been even better So all these questions are just phrased very positively to like keep you in a positive frame of mind And I also at the end of the day I always put a check or an X beside the things I wrote in this section earlier about what would make today great to see if they happened or not So I'm going to do that in a second then I also write in my Q&A a day. I always wait till the end of the day to do this because some of them are like, what did you last eat today or whatever. We're trying to stick with this. I'm going to write in that. Today's question is, what was the last thing you baked or cooked? And so I wrote dinner, which is what you guys saw that I made for dinner because I cooked that here. So, so next up, I would either go to bed or do a little reading. So I always try to read some of this book that I've been going through. I'm a pretty slow not slow reader, but I, like when you read a really dense book like this, this is a Christian book, um, it's by Jen Hatmaker, it's called Seven. The little tagline down here says, an experimental mutiny against excess. And so it's basically all about possessions and like minimizing your life, but not in like a just like be minimalist type like way, I don't know. It's very like others centered and like helps you to rethink what you can do with your money and your resources. I can't remember if I've talked about this in a video already, but there, I have a lot of thoughts that I want to talk about in a video soon. So I'm going to read a little bit of this and then whenever I get tired, um, I'm just gonna go to bed. So that's pretty much my night routine. I feel like when these are like highly produced, they always look way more exciting and like, I don't know, this is like such a quick vlog. But yeah, I wanted to do a vlog style one. So if you guys enjoy vlog style content or if you enjoy seeing my night routine, let me know. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And lastly, I'm gonna show you guys how I go to bed every night with turning off my lights. So great angle, finishing up this vlog. Alexa, turn off my lights. Good night. I just have these on and I'll switch these off. I'm gonna turn on my fan and I'm gonna go to sleep. It's untrue. Next, I'm gonna be on my phone and I'm gonna go through Instagram and Twitter. So my links to those will be below. Again, make sure you click the link in the description box to go watch Natalie's video. Wow, this lighting's doing a number on my 
for my skin. Nice and hydrated, you can tell. That's all. I'll see all of you guys in my next video.